Okay, I don't get this orange king hypothesis. You mean the red queen hypothesis? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. The Red Queen Hypothesis is an evolutionary explanation that involves co-evolving species participating in a biological arms race against one another. As one species evolves, the other species will be affected and need to adapt accordingly. Continually finding mechanisms to adapt to the surrounding competition is vital in order to ensure their survival. It's like the Hunger Games of the biological world. A common example is the interaction between parasites and their hosts. For example, the lowland leopard frog, and the chytridiomycosis fungi, respectively. Most frogs do not survive when infected with this parasite. However, the ones that do have a greater immunity will pass on their resistant genes for future generations. The fungus now has to deal with this selection pressure by continually evolving to overcome the rising resistance. Naturally, the host is trying to build a resistance towards the effects of the invading parasite while the parasite must counteract this resistance by developing new ways to fight back. This explains the concept known as coevolution. Picture a seesaw with the parasite on one end and its host on the other. At some point, the host is elevated due to its immunity. At other moments in time, the parasite will be at a higher position, making the host more vulnerable. The two species will never reach an equilibrium, meaning that they will never be at the same playing field, as this teeter-tottering is a continuous process. This means that both species need to change genetically in order to keep up with the other. Genetic change? What do you mean by this? Essentially, the alleles, making up a genotype that expresses a specific phenotype, which expresses certain traits. Therefore, species impose selection pressures on each other. Certain alleles are passed on from parent to offspring, but not all depending on which alleles are helpful in a particular moment in time, those will be passed on. This is how species change genetically. Therefore, in a population, the favorable alleles should be found more abundantly, having a higher allele frequency. Take a look at this graph for instance. When the phenotype of the host is more resistant to the current phenotype of the parasite, its allele frequency for a particular phenotype is greater than that of the parasite. When we see it peak and begin to decrease, the red line continues to increase in frequency. As a result of sexual selection, certain parasite allele frequencies will increase, allowing it to have a greater survival rate. This is how the parasite tries to co-evolve or fight against the host. The host has to also sexually select specific alleles for the next generation to survive, acting as a cycle. As you can see, the Red Queen hypothesis proposes that organisms must constantly adapt, evolve, and proliferate, not only to gain reproductive advantage, but to survive. Check the description below for our references.